Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, things have been very difficult for Glenn Beck lately, and he's getting more into love and into, um, yeah, we, I saw a piece where he was talking about love the other day, and that's important. But understand that everything that is going wrong in this country is still Obama's fault. And here he is lamenting over that missed opportunity. Barack Obama, when he was elected, <clears throat> was a miss of the greatest opportunity any president has ever had. If Barack Obama would have been a uniter, not a divider, and would have been a healer of race relations, we would have taken off in a completely different direction, and we would have had a whole new American century in front of us. It could have been a lot of healing. Oh, my gosh. Oh. It would have been the greatest thing that ever happened. I think it will go down as the biggest... Um, Missed opportunity in all of American history. If only Obama was white, he would have been. A, he would have had an opportunity to bring this country together. But instead, he had to be black the whole time he was president. Kubala wouldn't Hilly. change. He could see that it was a problem for people, but he wouldn't change at all. He wouldn't Michael Jackson himself. No, and we all had to pay the price. No, he could have he could have he could have healed everybody by simply saying to white people, "Don't worry, it was our fault." And then he could have done an Eddie Murphy, Mr. White thing. Thank you for bringing African Americans to this country. It was our fault. We were way out of bounds. First of all, thanks for all the free travel. Secondly. I wish, I mean, imagine how upset I am that my ancestors weren't savvy enough to get kidnapped. <laughs> That's right. And dragged to the new country. They stayed the there forget. in Kenya wasting time. So I'd just like to say once again, I love Mayo, I love police, <laughs> and I apologize each and every day for rap music, for any type of posture or walk that makes you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> and I would give absolutely everything I can to basically just be Mitt Romney. Uh, and let me be clear, black people need to pull their pants up <laughs> and they need to take some self-responsibility. You know, if they would just get off their dead asses and have a job, maybe this country would be a place that was worth living in again. Thank you all. God bless you. <laughs> there it is. Feel healed? That, I mean, but huge missed opportunity. Huge. Hello, you. I'm Sam Cedar. Looking for smart, progressive talk that is occasionally amusing? Well, subscribe to our YouTube feed. Subscribe to our podcast. Like us on Facebook. And just generally enjoy us.